Jeez, some days. Uh, you know, kids tug your heartstrings, things happen, you see people hurt. It's painful to watch. Pets. I tend to take a utilitarian view of pets. They, uh, around here with all this property I've got now, they exist to keep the mice and birds and uh, deer and coyotes and other things at bay. Come spring, when we hopefully plant a garden, they'll have even more work to do. But when they get hurt, that's still difficult. We have a very mothering dog. She has a few bad habits, among them digging. And while we were out on errands this morning, she was digging under some cinder blocks in one of the outbuildings on one of the properties. It's not structural, but I don't care about that too much. Um, but we have two little kitties and two bigger cats. And one of the little kitties who this dog has pretty much adopted. She's been mothering these two kitties. Oh my goodness. They apparently got trapped and injured when the cinder blocks collapsed. The dog's fine. She's a big old Shiloh Shepherd. She's fine. The cat though, I, you know, we get home from our errands. I'm doing some chores and dog is trying to get my attention a little bit while begging for scratches. <sighs> yeah. Anyways, I go over to their, the building they spend most of their time on and I hear this yowling. Um, anyways, long story short, I, I'm able to dig out the cinder blocks and free the cat, the kitten, and um, her back legs are not functional. Here it's been an hour or two later, two hours later, and looks like she's got most of her movement back in her legs. Maybe not in one of them, but that hurts. Hurts inside. Yeah. Anyways, so this might be a little bit of a down energy review. Um, <laughs> this, uh, oh, actually that's kind of nice. Want to chat? Text us. It's awful nice. I wonder if they want to chat about how I deal with pets. <laughs> Anyways, today, after that rousing roundup, I plan on drinking Rogue's Santa's Private Reserve, a toffee chocolate stout by, well, Rogue. Mm, also, we've got a break in the rain today, so I'm taking advantage of it. The inside of the house tastes like cooking meats, which is wonderful, but I really didn't want to think my uh, beer was going to taste like roast. <laughs> or smell like roast. Outside is mostly free of smells. Neighbors started a burn pile a couple houses down, but most of that smoke seems to have dissipated. Hmm, it smells good. It smells sweet. It doesn't smell particularly roasty. It's more of the toffee side. Hmm. Go figure. It's now starting to drip. Mostly toffee. Uh, maybe a little warm. The ABV isn't particularly high. It's only six and a half percent for being a a um, a stout. That's that's on the low end of stouts. Um, it's only 20 IBUs, which is what you'd expect on a, a holiday-focused, uh, wintry stout. Nice and sweet, that kind of thing. So yeah, smells sweet. Yeah, well that's a that's actually a pretty nice toffee. That's a really nice toffee, actually. <laughs> it's a like a buttered toffee. Um, kind of a bit of a caramel maybe. 
Yeah, that's a nice smell. A little bit thin. I think warming it up might bring more, but also being lower ABV, I'm not expecting a huge amount of aroma. Yeah, I mean, I've said it before, alcohol carries flavor. Not that your beer has to be high ABV to have flavor, but generally one of the reasons why stouts have a reputation for having intense flavors is because they have the alcohol content in their body to carry a lot of flavors. Um, and particularly a beer that's likely got a decent number of adjuncts or its intention is to carry a whole lot of coffee, a lot of, um, you know, sweet, spicy, holiday, whatever flavors, wintry flavors. I think that maybe a higher ABV might have an impact on how much you can smell, how much flavor the beer can carry. Then again, there's loads of wonderful food out there. That, that <laughs> That's all just my opinion, man, and it's probably wrong. Because, I mean, just thinking about it, I'm proving myself wrong. There's tons of wonderful food that has intense flavors. You don't have to have alcohol to carry intense flavors. There's loads of wonderful beverages that have intense flavors that don't have any alcohol. So, no, scratch everything I just said. Um, I'm wrong. Yeah. Uh, but, considering this is a toffee chocolate stout, 6% is on the low side of the ABVs. Take that as you will. That might be a great thing. Hey, you can have two of these, maybe even three of them at a party, and probably be not too bad, especially if you stretch it out over three, four hours. Whereas if you had, you know, two of a 15%, <laughs> probably not. It's a little bit of maltiness. I'm picking up a slight earthy hoppiness, which would be really nice in this type of beer where you're expecting the, the warmer, sweeter flavors. The earthiness can balance, um, whereas uh, uh, an herbal bitterness might might uh, challenge or, or um, what's the word, uh, go against, harm, break, uh, cause trouble with. Um, it starts with a C, I think. Whatever. I can think of words some days. <laughs> but uh, let's give this in, try, try tasting this here. Mm. Okay, chocolate, yeah. Even some marshmallow. It's kind of nice. It's it's almost like a, like a uh, s'mores that had toffee in addition to the chocolate, or caramel in addition to the chocolate. And that's quite nice, actually. It's reminding me of the, the uh, marshmallow hot chocolate uh, from Matchless that I tried last year that was... Uh, pretty decent beer as I recall um, but I don't know if I tasted too much marshmallow on it whereas this doesn't advertise marshmallow at all and I'm tasting marshmallow on it <laughs> go figure right yeah this is a nice beer I think it's you're expecting Santa's private reserve private reserve things in my opinion in the thing that conjures to my mind when I hear private reserve is this is a special, um, probably more intense because they took more time and care building up and layering flavors of the craft into whatever it is they're making, right? So the private reserve is the special one, the better one, the, the more intense one, the more involved one, the one that really begs pondering and sipping and savoring, right? Um, this can be savored and sipped and pondered. Um, and, and once again, this also might still come down to the fact that it's still a little bit cold. I am drinking it outside on a 45-something degree day. It might be 50 degrees now. My watch isn't telling me. Wake up, watch. Tell me. Um, yeah, 45 degree day. Nice. And uh, so that might have an impact on, on diminishing the flavors a little bit. And as it warms, I would expect the sweetness to come up a little... Um, this might even be great at room temperature. You're not expecting a, a lot of effervescence in in a, a dark stout like this. Uh, but what I am tasting is very pleasant. And because it's not super intense, it is, frankly, it's sessionable for a stout. You could, you could enjoy two of these at a time. Or I, I could enjoy two of these at a time. 
and and it would be nice. Um, but maybe <laughs> you should call it like the elf's stash <laughs> rather than Santa's private reserve, right? <laughs> Just uh, that's what comes to my mind as I'm thinking of these terms and the uh, the beer that I'm drinking. It's a good beer. I like it. Enjoying it quite a bit. Um, it's got pretty cool can art. Santa shredding on a Christmas tree shaped guitar. Rocker Santa with a pretty righteous beard there. And uh, the torn jeans and a, an amp in the snow. <laughs> I hope he taped his cables. <laughs> Yep. Good beer. Good beer. Enjoy it. Anyways, this is me, Matthew, hashtag real life, and enjoying some beer outside, because I should take advantage of this while I can. It's going to be a few more months before I'll be able to do it regularly. And uh, not make that several, actually. A few is two, right? No, a couple is two. A few. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> It'll be several more months before I can do this regularly. And uh, I got all these nice extensive deep backdrops now so I hope to uh, make use of those over the next year and uh, anyways me uh, carrying on without much point meandering uh, and, uh, drinking and enjoying 2023 Santa's Private Reserve by Rogue Brewing a toffee chocolate stout that is super tasty and surprisingly sessionable and I will catch y'all on the flip side.